Uh, so NAD is the fuel for the sirtuin enzymes that control the epigenome and seem to control many aspects of health and survival. Uh, so the sirtuins in our body, there are seven of them, as I mentioned, and they control the telomeres, they control stem cells, they control mitochondria, they prevent senescence of cells, the zombie cells. So the, the, think of them as our protectors. Uh, they, they respond to adversity. So when we're running on a treadmill or when we're skipping a meal, they'll be activated because the body says now's the time to hunker down and survive. And that's what we believe gives us our longevity when we diet and exercise the right way. Now, one of the ways that works actually is the body raises NAD levels. And NAD is a very small chemical. It's used for chemical reactions. And the sirtuins are uh, tuned in to how much NAD is in the cell. The more NAD you have, let's say you're young or you're an athlete, uh, that's good. The sirtuins will be active and they will protect you. If you're obese, you don't walk, you don't run, uh, you're always fed, uh, or you're old, you'll have lower NAD levels in your tissues and your sirtuins will work, work less efficiently and you will age faster and get diseases of aging uh, and perhaps be susceptible to COVID-19 as, as we hypothesize, as do others. So what we're working on are and others around the world are molecules that we could deliver to a patient who's sick, uh, either with COVID or with a, a, a rare disease or even a common disease like diabetes, raise the NAD levels back up to youthful levels and improve health. Now in mice, again, the, I'm not saying this is in humans yet, but we are doing clinical trials right now. In mice, we can reverse the age of the vascular system and make mice that are old, uh, equivalent of about a 65 year old human, able to run like they were young again with just a few weeks of treatment with a molecule that raises NAD levels in the body. Doctors and epidemiologists, nutritionists who discovered the kind of foods and lifestyles that lead to a health, healthy lifestyle, a healthy uh, life, and also longevity, such as the island of Okinawa or the Mediterranean diet, they discovered these things independently from us who are working on genes and enzymes. But what we've discovered is that the molecules in those foods and those types of exercise turn on these longevity genes. There's sirtuins, but there's others. There's one called mTOR that responds to the amino acids and protein that we eat. There's one called AMPK, which responds to how much energy our cells have and how much sugar is in our body. And so in other words, what we've learned so far is that these types of diets and exercise, in it, well, I would say inadvertently, but, but not coincidentally, are turning on these genetic pathways. But what's important is that now that we know that, we can make medicines that are 100 times more powerful than you could ever get from a treadmill. And not only that, you cannot expect an elderly person to go running on a treadmill for 10 minutes a day. What we need is an IV or a pill that we can give them to revive them. Become a little bit of a, a role model here, uh, not really intentionally. I'm, I'm just a scientist trying to do the right thing. Uh, but the older I get, I, I find that the, the more interested I am in my own research. Uh, um, but so I'm, I've just turned 50. Um, my father's 80. We're both on a very similar program. Uh, we monitor what we do very carefully with, with uh, rings like this um, and, and blood tests that you can get commercially, at least over here in the US. And we see what, what works for us and what doesn't. So we're not just blindly experimenting, but we are trying to see, if, see what happens um, in a very safe, controlled way. My father's also a scientist in Sydney. He can judge for himself. Um, so yeah, resveratrol yeah, I've been taking for 13 years. What's that? Go on. Sorry. Yeah, what's that? Oh, so this is called this an is aura of the ring. O U R A. Kind of. Uh, it'll tell me heart rate, uh, movement, sleep patterns. Uh, it's very useful for optimizing sleep. That's one of the great things about it. Of course, we've also got these devices now as well. So my point is that if you just pop a pill or do some exercise and you don't measure yourself, you're flying blind. Um, so um, sometimes I just uh, cut to the chase and I say, I wrote down what we do in my family on page 304 of the book that I just put out. But I'm not trying to sell books here. I'm just trying to say, if, if we don't have enough time to get through it, people can go see what, what we do in a list. But it's a uh, resveratrol. Uh, I do NMN. I take a bit of NMN, which is an NAD precursor that raises NAD. Um, I'm taking more olive oil since it was just discovered that oleic acid 
activates one of the main sirtuin pathways, just like resveratrol. So that's good for us. Vitamin D is important. Um, and also I'm taking metformin, which is a drug that is probably the the, the craziest and danger, most dangerous idea that uh, I'll bring up, which is that there are drugs on the market like metformin for diabetes, type 2 diabetes, that have been shown in tens of thousands of people to slow down the rate of age-related diseases. So not just diabetes, but cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, and frailty. Um, but you need a doctor's prescription to get that in Australia and the US.